Hello, my lovelies. So today we are doing the long hair tag, which is super exciting. Uh, thank you, Louise. Um, it is Vita Day 18. Uh, we're getting into the home stretch a bit now. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to save the accessories and stuff to the end because yeah, just because. Okay, long hair tag. Let me pop up the questions. Do, do, do. Pow. Okay, uh, question number one. Why did you start taking better care of your hair? Okay, so, um, well, I never was, like, super abusive to it to begin with. Um, <laughs> it was more kind of a benign neglect thing, you know, just kind of brush it and go sort of deal. Um, but uh, after my last major chop, when I went chin length um, and found out that I really, really didn't like it short, um, I decided to grow it all out. And after it was probably almost waist length, actually, um, I was probably around mid back, um, I decided to kind of see what was going on, you know, uh, you know, because the internet was alive and well by then and I found the LHC and I would read all sorts of things like my mom had always told me about you know beer rinses and like mayo for deep conditioning so I knew a lot of the old wives things they do work though so <laughs> I guess it's not really old wives things but just some stuff they used to do back in the day um, but yeah after after joining the LHC that's where I learned about coconut oil and um, you know, uh, using a, I stopped, you guys, I used to use one of those brushes with the nylon bristles, like the, oh yeah, that was bad. So I knocked that off. I had switched to a paddle brush and a wide tooth comb for a long time until I found the tangle teaser. And then, um, yeah, so I learned that from the LHC and I learned about, I told you coconut oil and things like that. So I just started, um, just trying to be nicer to it, basically. Um, just because I like long hair and I want to keep it as pretty as I can. Um, that's all. Uh, what are your two favorite products? Uh, Silk Drops by FX, which is cones, 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 cones. Um, but I really like it for slip for my hair for detangling purposes. Um, little goes a long way. And uh, coconut oil. Coconut oil is my second favorite product for hair. Between those two things, my hair is happy. <laughs> Whose hair did you admire as a child? Crystal Gale and Cher. Um, when I was little, my mom had Crystal Gale's album. Um, and she was in a satin, satin pants and a satin top. And I think the pants were blue. They were blue or lavender and the top was white. And when you opened up, it was one of those big, you know, albums that it, you open up. She was laying with all of her hair. Yeah, I totally fell in love. And we uh, used to watch reruns of the Sonny and Cher show with my Graham and Cher. I mean, do I have to say anything? Cher and Bob Mackie gowns and all that long, dark hair. It's just gorgeous. So they were my two. Uh, that was the hair when I was little. Uh, the first time I saw a blonde with long hair was Deborah Jo Fondren on a cover of Playboy. Yes, I was young, but, you know, I had uncles. <laughs> and they might have had things lying around that, you know, since they didn't have children of their own, they maybe didn't think to put them away. But, um, you know, I was never really afraid of naked ladies, but her hair is magnificent. So if you want, you should go Google her. Um, if you're a grown-up person. <laughs> um, what is your ultimate goal length? I'm at it. Um, classic length is my length. I had always thought that I wanted to get to knee length because I love seeing knee length hair on other ladies and gentlemen. I actually have seen a couple dudes that are beyond knee length um, and I admire it, but I it's not for me. It's It's too much for me personally to handle because I like to wear my hair down. Um, if I only ever wore my hair up, 
you know, for the most part, I could probably go longer. Um, this past summer, I got down to fingertip length, which is past classic. It's like mid thighish. Um, and it was a little too long. I was sitting on it. I was getting caught in a lot of things where it didn't at classic. So I cut it back up to classic. Classic is my length. Um, I may go to fingertip tip length again this summer just because I won't be cutting it. Um, so I might get there again, but come fall back to classic because that is, that's my length. That's the length I like the most. Um, how are you going to celebrate when you reach it? I didn't really celebrate. Um, I was just happy. I posted pictures on Facebook <laughs> and, uh, and Instagram. Yay. I don't know. I didn't really, I didn't really celebrate. Um, <laughs> which do you prefer health or length? Health. Definitely. It is, I, I, I prefer quality over quantity. You might have floor length hair, but if the last two feet are split and raggedy and sad, then cut off that two feet. Just, yeah. Um, Healthy hair is beautiful hair, and I love long, healthy hair. And I'm not talking about fairy tale ends. I like fairy tale ends on certain girls. Um, but there is a difference between fairy tale ends and witchy ends. And you guys know what I'm talking about. The girls that have that little bit of natural curl, that wave, when their ends do this, it's beautiful. But if your hair is stick straight and your ends are like, it's really thick to here, and then there's like, two strands and then a hunk over here and then trim it up ladies trim it up <laughs> and guys guys are actually worse about this than women women usually keep a pretty good idea of their hem like of their hemline but men don't pay attention and they need somebody in their life to keep them trim um which do you prefer hair ties with no metal parts or butterfly clips um, hair ties with no metal parts. I use them more. Uh, as far as butterfly clips go, for the most part, they suck, except for Lindsay clips. Um, the double hinged ones that I have, I love those things. Um, little shorty, they have little shorty teeth and nubs. Um, cut a second. I'll, I'll go get one and show you what I'm talking about. Before I sit down, see my new dress. Um, you know I'm fat, whatever. But isn't it pretty? It's pretty. It's short. Shorter than I, I usually wear, but look at the sleeves. Oh, yeah. Um, penny noodles. Okay. <laughs> I, I get really excited. This is so like German and late 60s, early 70s. <laughs> I love it. Um, any hoodles. Lindsay clips. Um, they look like this. They have two hinges, as you can see. So they open nice, but look at how small the teeth are. I've had this brown set of Lindsay clips for almost 10 years, and I've never broken them. Um, and then I found these recently, much prettier, black with rhinestones, you know, for dressier, because I mean they're clips. But these are pretty. But I, I use these. So as far as butterfly clips go, these are the only ones that work for me. Um, even the little tiny ones, I break the teeth off of, you know, when I'm doing lots of, it's terrible. So hair ties with no metal, I use them the most. And those little clear silicone ones. I use those all the time. Um, <laughs> okay, what products do you prefer? Salon brands, organic brands, BSS brands, which I don't know what that means, um, or drugstore brands. Um, either drugstore, maybe it's beauty supply store brands. Oh, I'll bet that's what BSS means. <laughs> Look at me using my brain. Oh, not foggy today, y'all. Um, Drugstore brands and BSS brands. Um, I still like Aussie conditioners. I still like Pantene for a conditioner. And as far as like the beauty supply store brands, I love Nexus Humectris generic version. Um, I do not like, I've never had a salon brand that I liked. I don't like them. They don't like the way they smell. I don't like the way my hair feels. So, um, organic brands, I guess that might be like homemade. I do like some of those. Um, but like, like the shampoo I'm using now, the Shea Moisture stuff, 
it came from Walmart, so that's a drugstore brand. So, yeah. So, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't really worry about, you know, salon. Just, I don't like salon stuff. <laughs> Which product technique do you think is overrated when? When is overrated? It's, it's just conditioner only. That's all it is. The cleansing conditioner, you can get the same results with CO. And it's too overpriced for what it is. Because if you are COing your hair, it probably means you're a girl with longer hair. Um, and you're going to use a lot of it. So you're going to go through a bottle of that when in like, you know, five to six washes. And that's 30 bucks. No, overrated. Um, what product technique do you think is underrated? Um, well, I think my silk drops as far as product. Um, oh, techniques. I should do techniques too. Techniques, I think backcombing and teasing is overrated. I think it's a bunch of hooey. You don't need to do that. There are so many ways to get lift and volume without teasing. You can get the little bumpets to put under your hair. Um, you can make your own hair rats. Uh, you can use dry shampoo if you just need a little lift. I would rather you put hairspray in your hair than tease it. Don't tease your hair. Just stop it. Don't. Don't do it. Find a workaround because, oh, it hurts me. Um, and then techniques do I think is underrated for curls. Braiding when wet and soft rolling the ends. Damp, not wet. Braiding when damp and soft rolling the ends. Rag curls. All of the no heat ways to get curls and waves in your hair are underutilized. So many people just take a curling iron to it. And you don't have to do that. You just have to be willing to sleep with stuff in your hair. And all of our grandmothers did it, so suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> Take care of your hair. Um, what is your favorite part of your hair regimen? Um, do I have a hair regimen? Brushing it, I guess. I like to brush my hair. I like it when I'm done with my tangle teaser and it looks really pretty and soft. I also do like braiding it. I would have to, wouldn't I? Um, <laughs> what is the most annoying part of your hair regimen? Oh, the act of getting it dry. Um, if I let it air dry, it takes forever. And if I blow dry it, I mean, it doesn't take that long, but I wish I could just go and it was dry. <laughs> The drying portion. The drying portion is a little uh, boring, I just guess. It's not really annoying. It's just boring. Um, oils or butters? Oils. It's oils, period. Um, bun or ponytail? Bun. I'm not putting this in a ponytail. It hurts so bad. Um, I will start a lot of my hairstyles with a pony as a base and then work from there. But with hair this long, if you just leave a ponytail swinging, it's going to be a completely tangled and matted mess under there because every time it brushes your shirt, the hairs start to do this with each other. Mm -mm. Um, if my hair was bra strap length, it would be a ponytail. I love a ponytail. It's just, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me anymore. It's, my hair's too long for a pony. Um, and I know a lot of buns, y'all. Woot. Um, let's see. Wig or weave? Or neither? Um, I'm not going to say neither because I think it's fun to be able to change up your style. But I'm going to go with wig every time because I have seen some horror stories of some girls that got a bad weave. And it actually damaged um, the hair right at their scalp. Um, I mean, if you know somebody that knows how to put a weave in well, then that's great. But quite frankly, wig. You guys, wigs today are a lot different than wigs were, you know, 50 years ago. Those lace front wigs, you can't even tell that's not real hair. I mean, and it's fun. Like us long haired girls, we can put all our hair up in a vortex, stick a stocking cap over it, and then we can have really short bob if we want it for a little while. Um, you can change the color, you can change the texture, you can change the style, you can change the length. So 
more variety, go for a wig. Besides, you can wear a blue one or a pink one. Yeah, wig. Um, what is your opinion on growth aids? It's a load of hooey. There's no such thing. It's all crap. It's all magic pill stuff. If you want healthy, long hair, take care of your body first. Um, when there is something wrong with you, when there is something going on in your body, your fingernails and your hair, and sometimes your teeth, are what it's the first thing you notice um, is, is, I mean, something's going on. So um, make sure you have enough protein. Make sure you have enough dairy. Make sure you have enough um, fats. And I'm not saying that you have to sit and lick a slab of bacon, but, you know, fat is where your flavor is. So whichever fats you prefer, make sure you have some because your hair likes it, your skin likes it, and your brain actually really likes fats. I'm not lying. You can look it up. Um, but yeah, you want balanced. Drink enough water. You know, take care of your body and your hair will follow. Um, the biggest problem I've seen in my own friends was my vegan friends have the hardest problem with keeping um, the healthiest heads of hair they can have because it is hard when you're vegan to get enough protein and fats. They don't eat very many fats at all. Um, so, yeah, even if it's just, you know, add a little butter, just a little bit of fat, just a little bit of fat's not going to kill you. It's good for you. And protein, you've got to get enough protein. Um, one of the ways um, to help bump up your protein is protein powder. You can put it in a fruit smoothie. Um, and then you get all this extra protein without, you know, having to resort to eating meat or eating so many beans, you feel like you're going to explode, whatever. <laughs> Protein powder is a wonderful thing. So, but as far as, you know, a magic pill to make your hair, you know, grow 12 inches in two months, that's, a, that's bull. That doesn't work. It's, no, uh-uh. Um, what length do you consider long? Waist length. To me, waist length is long hair. Uh, Anything between bra strap length and waist length, that's, I will consider it long. If it's up here, it's it's not that long. But if it's under your boobs, then yeah, you got long hair. Um, that's just me. That's just, that's my deal. Um, you know, it's, you have like short and then medium is, you know, from shoulder length to the, to the top of your boobicles. <laughs> And then, yeah, once you hit BSL, then I think you can consider yourself a long hair. That's just my opinion. Um, when is the last time you've been to a salon? I actually know this. Um, it was the day my brother got married. <laughs> so that would be June 7th of 2008. 678. He was brilliant picking that as his wedding date. Um, <laughs> so easy to remember. Uh, I took... My sister-in-law now, um, down to the lady who always cut my hair. She's the only salon I trusted, Sharon Vinci, down in Chester, West Virginia, at the Salon Da Vinci. Um, yes, uh, I trust her with long hair because she'll cut an eighth of an inch off if that's all that you need. She's, I trust her. Um, yes, I went and I took, uh, Amanda to go get her hair done and Joe had been cutting my hair and, uh, Sharon's daughter flat ironed for me cause I just, I wanted straight hair and, uh, she was like, oh, can I flat iron it? Please let me flat. So after we were flat ironed, she saw my hemline was not quite even and she's like, ah, so she evened it all up for me. <laughs> my homemade haircuts make her want to cry. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, she she lives seven and a half hours away from me, so I can't just drop in. You know how it is. Um, alrighty, let's see. Uh, what do you like to surf the most? YouTube channels, personal blogs, or hair forums? Uh, YouTube channels, I like 
looking at what everybody's doing with their hair. Although I, you know, I, I still check in on my hair form, so don't comment much. Um, I was really disappointed when the L it, LHC had this huge switch over because now I can't find anything. The search feature is all jacked up. I can't find anything. You know, um, it used to be set up so you could, you know, at least search your own handle, which I did a lot because people would ask questions and that way I could easily find if anybody had any questions and answer them right there or point them to a video or whatever. And I can't anymore. So it's like practically useless to me. So YouTube videos. Um, and finally, what piece of advice would you give to someone just starting out their hair journey? Um, be nice to it. Make sure you're eating right. Um, get a jar of coconut oil. It will save you so many problems in the long run. Um, if you don't like your current color, that's okay. You can dye your hair. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But just know if you're going to dye it, um, unless you're using henna and are a redhead, um, you have to do a little extra upkeep and you need to stay away from heat more often than you would if you had not dyed it. Um, putting in color is not nearly as bad as lifting color, but I know I've got some girls out there who are not natural blondes and are blondes right now, and that's totally okay. You can be blonde. Just make sure you deep condition often and try not to blow dry too much and try not to hit it with heat all that much and your hair will be perfectly healthy just like girls who don't dye their hair. You just have to be a little nicer. As I always tell ladies, you need to pick which abuse you're going to put on your hair. <laughs> you can either dye it or you can heat style it. But when you get to doing both, that's when your hair suffers. Um, so yes, be good to yourself and your body and be nice to your hair. Also, only cut it when it's actually needing to be trimmed, not every six weeks. That rule is if you have a style you want to maintain, like say you have a sassy little asymmetrical bob, every six weeks you need to go get it touched up so it will stay in that style. But if you are just growing your hair out, then you only need to go when your ends are split. Most of the time you can do that yourself, a little search and destroy mission, you know, just cut off the few splits you have. Um, or if you want to trim off an inch or two, then trim off an inch or two. I get trimmed once or twice a year. It depends on how my ends are looking. It depends on how mean I've been to my hair. Um, but if you want it to be long, stop cutting it. Just don't cut it anymore. It's really easy. It's not magic. It's just patience. You just got to be patient. Um, alrighty. So there is our long hair tag. This is 23 minutes. So I guess let's do our accessories real quick. Um, let me pop this down. Pop. Okay. Um, I am wearing one of my stretchy rings. This one looks like a peacock feather. Yay. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, my earrings are bows with hearts and they have little purple stones in them. Um, I think I got them at Big Lots, quite frankly. Um, my necklace is actually two combined together. This is a cameo, a metal cameo uh, style. I got this from Brandy. I have never ever seen one of these, but it was on a really long chain, which of course just sat funky on my on my boobs, so I put it on a ribbon, and that way I can switch it out to match whatever I have, but I love this. It's beautiful. Um, and today's hairstyle, I lace braided. Um, I put my head to the side, and I lace braided this underneath, and then I just rope braided. The, uh, I finished it off with an English, and then I just rope braided it with the rest of my hair, and that's it. Um, yeah, my bangs are not behaving. I didn't put any hairspray on them or pin them back. That's my, that's my bad. I should have sprayed them. Anywho, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, that is my, it's just, yeah, it's a rope braid made out of another braid. And the rest is my hair. But I thought it looked interesting. I don't know. I try all kinds of things, but 
We'll see. Um, any handles, that is all for today, my darlings. So I will see you tomorrow. We might do hair tomorrow. I don't know. We might have a, a hairstyle tomorrow and then a little short Vita. Um, I haven't decided yet. So it'll be a surprise. Yay, surprises. Alrighty, dears. I will see you tomorrow. Until then, have a great day. I love you guys. Bye.